In this video, we'll look at how to use Binance Simple Earn, which is like an earnings and savings product within Binance. So if you do use Binance and you have some cryptos in your account, you can actually flip them over into Simple Earn to earn some yield on them. I'm gonna go through how to use the platform itself and then some of the things that you should be thinking about and aware of as well. I'll leave the timestamps for each of the sections down in the description. If you come to your Binance account, then you can come up to Earn and Simple Earn. If you don't have a Binance account yet, I'll leave a link in description to a deposit bonus. So if you're new, you can get a deposit bonus, I think up to $600. So you wanna to come to Binance Earn once you have an account. And what you can see here is lots of different options. So you have flexible options, um, lockup options as well. So they make money a few different ways, um, either through staking or through lending or potentially using some of these assets on their futures trading platform to lend out to traders, which obviously pay an interest as well. So they do things on their back end and they just give you the APR or the interest rate right here. Um, so yes, it is on the Binance platform. You have to trust Binance. I do and have some assets in here. But other than that, you just see the APRs right here and then you can choose which one you actually want to go for and how long you want to get locked up for. Binance have a calculator to tell you how much interest you may make. Um, and then you can go ahead and choose the product that you want within Simple Earn. So if you come to Binance Earn, come down here to calculate your crypto earnings. So you can choose all of these supported coins right here, whichever one you have. For example, US dollar tether, you can put in the amount that you want to save and then how long you want to save for either the one, two, three, five years you can see. So over that time, it takes the interest that it's currently paying and then multiplies it and gives you that interest over the time frame, Obviously it's an APY, so it's a yearly rate, and then it works it out, but the APYs do change, so we'll go through that now. If you come to Simple Earn, there's a few things you need to know. Firstly, search for the crypto up here, so whatever one you want, if it's there, Uniswap, USDT, you know, you can just search for if it's supported, and then you can see a few different options. So you have an APR, and then you have duration in days. The APR is a yearly rate, so, this one right here, if it says it's paying 27.99, what that means is if you hold it for uh, 12 months, you'll get a 28% yield. Now, obviously that's not per day or per month, right? So you have to divide it by 12 to get the monthly or divide it by 365 to get the daily. Other than that, what you want to do is check the duration. Now, flexible duration usually has a lower rate because you have the optionality there. If you lock it up for longer, it usually has a higher rate, but it obviously changes as well. So as you can see, some support flexible and some don't. So Bitcoin is only flexible. That means you can't lock it up to get a higher rate or anything. And it has a tier rate as well. So even though they, even though they say 5% here, check the tier rate and then you can see how much they pay 5% on. So they only pay 5% on 0.01 BTC. And then if you have more, they start dropping the rate. So just be aware of that. And then as you can see, flexible here, so you can't change that. For something like BNB coin, which is obviously their exchange token and it's the uh, base layer coin for BNB chain, um, they have lockups and no flexible. So the 30 day only gets a 3% yield. Now that is the yearly yield. So that's 3% per year, but you only have it there for 30 days or you can lock it up for 90 days or 120 days and you get a higher yearly rate. So you can press subscribe here. Um, and then obviously that's only 120 days. So after 120 days, you can resubscribe. And if you do that for a year, then you get that 7.09%. So if you wanna to subscribe to anything, just press subscribe and read the T and C's in there. And I'll show you how to do that. There's an auto subscribe as well. If you click auto subscribe on, then anything that's in your spot account at the time uh, gets transferred once a day over to the earn account. I click auto subscriber on pretty much for everything, at least for the cryptos that I buy through Binance because you know sometimes I want a dollar cost average and I don't wanna take a small amount off the platform. So I put everything into the earn and the auto subscribe, even if the rate is low because it's better than nothing. And then I'll obviously take the cryptos out at some point in a bigger transaction. So if we go to something like Aave right here um, and we press subscribe, you can see it's only flexible, the current amount that I have, and then I can subscribe here down the minimum amount that you can subscribe and the available quota. So depending on the coin, there may be a maximum amount that you can subscribe to per, you know, per account and then click auto subscribe here. So at the end of each day, everything in my spot account that's earning nothing will go over into the flexible savings essentially. 
You can see the APR, the estimated interest it can't work out because it's a flexible product. If we go to something that has a fixed lockup, for example, BNB for 120 days, we can click subscribe right here. You can change this around to how long you wanna be locked up for, choose the max and the available quota. You can even auto subscribe for this as well. So what that will do is after the 120 or 90 days, it will resubscribe you back into that 90 day period. You can see the estimated interest as well, depending on how much that you have, and just look at the TNC. Now, you can withdraw early. So if you have some BNB coin locked up for 90 days and let's say 30 days in, you're like, I really need this out. You can actually redeem it early, no problem, but you'll give up all of the accrued interest from what you've earned so far. You can redeem early and withdraw. You just have to go to the earn part of the application or the platform. You can do this on your phone as well. But if you go to the earn section and then simple earn, you can see everything that you've auto subscribed to. It might have a balance or not, but everything that does will be here. And then you can see all of the amount of interest that you've actually accrued over all of that time. Just come to the right hand side. You can see above my head and just press redeem. You'll lose like one day's interest maximum if you're auto subscribing. So not too bad. And then if you want to unlock something that's locked, I think I locked something up here to show you if you look uh, scroll to the right above my head you can see redeem earlier what that is going to do is going to redeem that because it's locked up you're going to lose all of the interest that you've accrued so far but that is how you would unlock to get those out they go back into your spot account and you can obviously trade it from there if you're new to Binance, check out that deposit bonus link in the description down there for you i'm james with money cheers for watching and i'll see you in the next one